With mortgage interest rates at a multi-decade high and buyer demand lower than it's been in a long time, could this be the perfect opportunity for you to buy? In this video, I'm going to break down why you might want to consider buying in this current environment and what the numbers actually look like. Stay tuned. All right, Matt Gouget, Matt the Mortgage Guy, residential mortgage broker licensed in 48 states. If you wanna connect with me and my team, go to greatmortgagebroker.com. In this video, I'm gonna talk about a really interesting topic that honestly is something that a lot of people are thinking about right now. I'm having conversations with clients about it. Late 2023, we've got interest rates. Most of them have a seven handle in front of them. And for buyers, it can be rather discouraging because with prices, near all-time highs and mortgage interest rates above 7%, the mortgage payment that is a result of that feels like a stretch. It feels like it might be out of reach for some people. feels like affordability is, is something that is really, really holding back people that know they want to buy a home, know they want to own a home. So what do they do? Do they wait until mortgage interest rates come down and with those lower mortgage rates, they'll be able to see a lower payment, barring prices not going up when mortgage rates go down, right? So what we want to look at is perhaps a strategy where you buy in an environment of high rates because you can get a better price and then you refinance down the road, right? This isn't a marry the house, date the right BS type of marketing ploy. This is a real conversation. I'd love to hear your comments down below. Let me know what you think. You know, Q4 2023, for sure, you're going to be able to buy homes for cheaper than you could buy them in Q2. I promise you that in almost any market, right? Some markets might be an exception, but the vast majority of markets, you're going to see a discount. And for the markets I'm really closely following, the markets that I'm in and having buyers get into contract week on week, probably between Q2 and Q4 of 2023, you'll see a 10% reduction in what you'll pay for any given house. Now, it's hard to look at like, oh, that 2,000 square foot house sold for 515 in May. And this one that sold in October of 2023 sold for 460. And are they truly apples to apples? But about 10%, let's call it that. Now, if you're of the mindset that if you can get the house for 450,000, that might once have sold for 500 and might likely sell for 500 in the future when mortgage interest rates come down and demand comes back, are you better off buying it at 450 even if you've got a seven and a quarter interest rate? Now, follow me and follow this math. You buy something at 450,000 and there's a seven and a quarter interest rate attached to it. I realize for some people, this may be a stretch because once you put homeowner's insurance, property tax in there, even with 20% down, you're looking at a $2,900 plus mortgage payment. Principal interest taxes and insurance on this $450,000 purchase, seven and a quarter interest rate. What I'm telling you is that knowing all of the different economic factors, inflation, and what's going to happen with the Fed funds rate, what's going to happen with the 10-year treasury, all of this stuff pointing towards interest rates coming down, not tomorrow, not next month, but over the next year or two, if and when you're able to refinance this into a 4.99% or whatever the mortgage is, are you better off doing that and executing that plan or waiting for, let's call it two years, let's call it 2025, and hoping that you're able to find that home and the price hasn't gone up too much because of demand coming up and which 100% guarantee mortgage rates come down, buying demand is going to go up. So $29.96, that we'll call it the mortgage payment. Property tax are going to differ. Homeowners insurance is going to differ like where you're at in the country. But $450,000 purchase, 20% down, seven and a quarter interest rate. We are going to estimate $29.96 a month. Now, 
if you're able to refinance that into a 4.99% interest rate a year out, two years out, I took a rough number and just estimated that the principal balance would be the same, which it's going to be lower. But even if it was the same, you're going to save over $500 a month now being locked into a mortgage payment of $24.72. That's the beauty of the 30-year fixed rate mortgage. You can't have the bank renegotiate with you and have it be higher, but you can, when mortgage interest rates go down, refinance, another word for you know renegotiate, a lower payment. So $29.96 to $24.72, a savings of over $500 a month. And now you got the $450,000 home, a great deal. You've got the 4.99 interest rates. So you're able to refinance it. That is the play that I'm seeing some people currently going out and executing today, Q4 2023. On the flip side, if you wait and you say, you know what? I'm going to wait until the rates get down to 4.99 because then I'm going to be able to afford it. Well, we know there's a relationship between home buyer demand and prices. 499 interest rates, guaranteed demand comes up. And I'm not saying that, you know, things are going to go from 450 to 600,000. I'm just saying if they go back and start touching the peaks that we saw in the spring of 2023, and it's, it's likely more than that, but let's just call it back to 500, right? If it goes back to 500 and you purchase it at 4.99% interest rate, now you've got principal interest tax and insurance of 2747. You were much better off in the scenario where you bought for 450 and then were able to refinance at the lower rate, right? That ending rate was 2472, about $275 a month in savings. So that's just a scenario that I see playing out. Please leave your comments down below. Flame me if you'd like. I'm fine. I'm on the internet for everybody to talk good, bad, and ugly about. So I promise you won't hurt my feelings. Matt, you're an idiot. Mortgage interest rates are never going down. This is a dumb plan. Why would anyone be buying? I already know they're coming. So you're not surprising me when you put it there, but let me know your thoughts. Buying now, getting a discount, because trust me, with mortgage demand at a 27-year low, there's less people out there buying. A house that sold for 500,000 in May, you can now buy for 450 grand. It's slow trickle. So most people don't notice, but I promise you it's there. I've got clients every single day buying homes 8, 10, 12% lower than what a similar house would have sold for just 3, 6 months ago in the same market, right? So take it for what it is. If you'd like to connect with me and my team, we'd be more than happy to help. Go to greatmortgagebroker.com, fill out that form. We're happy to get you pre-approved. We're happy to show you the numbers. If it works, great. If we can help you, great. At the very least, you owe it to yourself to run the numbers, think through it, decide whether or not now is a good time. If you like to compete in markets where there's 22 offers and it's 5, 10, 15 offers before you get something accepted, then maybe you wait for interest rates to go lower. If you like to be in a market where you've got a little bit of leverage as the buyer, you're able to offer less, get some seller concessions to pay closing costs. Now might just be the time to buy. Now in today's market might be the kind of market you want to operate again. Again, greatmortgagebroker.com. Connect with us. We're more than happy to help. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.